The 20-year-old education advocate criticized SUUKYI, the country's state councillor and de facto leader, for her silence on the plight of the Rohingya people, who have been fleeing a harsh crackdown by the Myanmar military. Over the last several years, I have repeatedly condemned this tragic and shameful treatment. I am still waiting for my fellow Nobel laureate Aung San Suukyi to do the same, Yusuf Say wrote. The world is waiting and the Rohingya Muslims are waiting. The Rohingya, a Muslim minority in predominantly Buddhist Myanmar, are considered some of the most persecuted people in the world. Myanmar, also known as Burma, considers them Bangladeshi while neighboring Bangladesh says they are Burmese, effectively leaving them without a state. Recent violent clashes in Myanmar have killed hundreds while a mass exodus has seen more than 73,000 flee across the border since August 25, the United Nations said on Sunday. Related, there is a genocide going on there, Yusuf Say called for an end to the suffering which she said breaks her heart and for the Myanmar government to recognize the Rohingya population as equal citizens. If their home is not Myanmar, where they have lived for generations, then where is it? Rohingya people should be given citizenship in Myanmar, the country where they were born, she added. Other countries, including my own country Pakistan, should follow Bangladesh's example and give food, shelter and access to education to Rohingya families fleeing violence and terror. It is the second time in less than a year that a military crackdown in Myanmar's Rakhine state has led to a mass exodus. Speaking to the BBC in April, SUUKYI denied ethnic cleansing was taking place against Myanmar's Rohingya minority. Yusuf Say became a household name across the world after she survived an assassination attempt by Taliban gunmen while riding home from school in Pakistan in 2012. She was jointly awarded the Nobel Peace Prize alongside Kailash Satyartha for activism on behalf of children's rights in 2014. In August, she announced she has been accepted to study at the University of Oxford.